But nevertheless, nevertheless, we want you to know today that we are in sync with the foundation from 1919. Amen. The church of God, the foundation, that's where it all got started at. Amen. And if everybody was that came up under, still in sync with, amen, what a glorious time that would be. So we thank God indeed. Thank God for each and every one of you pressing your way out today and for the testimonies that have gone up. You know, it, it's a blessing to see and to know that the Smith name is continuing. Amen. The Smith name is continuing. That's a blessing. Amen. So we thank God indeed for those that are willing to be obedient to God. Lord said, be fruitful and do what? Multiply. Amen. Be fruitful and multiply. That's why he put marriage and instituted marriage for the purpose of replenishing the earth. Amen. But nowadays they're going into don't want to get married, don't want to have children, don't want to do this, don't want to do that, trying to eliminate the plan of God. But you can't stop God's plan. Amen. You'll slip up every time. <laughs> Amen. So may God bless you, church. Heaven ever smile. Dick and Garnett, if you will, congregation, we want to talk to you about the proof of sonship. Yes. Amen. Amen. The proof of sonship. We're talking about the son, the only begotten son of God. Yes. We're talking about him coming into the world that we might have life. But there's always going to be a question. Amen. Amen. Who are you? Where you come from? Today we want to talk about the proof of sonship. Amen. <clears throat> the word T-H-E is used before to refer to one in particular of a number of things or people identified as distinct from all others by the use of a mollifier. Amen. It is important for us to remember that Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, came that we might have life. Amen? Proof is the conclusive evidence. The definition of proof is the conclusive evidence that establishes a fact or the truth of something. Amen? The quality or condition of having been Proven. Amen. That's proof. Amen. And the word of, derived or coming from, originating at or from, caused by, resulting from. The proof of sonship. Amen. S-O-N-S-H-I-P. The definition of sonship is the state of being a son or of being or bearing the relationship of a son and then filiation amen i am affiliated with the church of god amen and the evidence of that is a message that was preached years ago by our founder and we've been preaching the same thing advising young couples the same thing be careful amen that's your attitude when you're carrying children. Amen. So listen, church, I want you to look for <clears throat> five words. Amen. The first being the proof, the second being the source, the third being the meaning, the fourth being the inspiration, and the fifth being the activity. Amen. Sonship. Amen. The evidence of, the proof of, amen, sonship. <clears throat> Turn with me to the book of St. John, 1st John, I'm sorry. <clears throat> the fourth chapter. And we're going to begin right there at the first verse. Mm -hmm. Listen to what it says. Read. Beloved. Beloved what? Believe not every spirit. Amen. Amen. How's that spirit spelled? Small s. 
Small s, meaning mm -hmm. believe not every mind of man that comes your way. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Everybody has spirits <laughs> in them, in meaning them. your attitude. Yes. Amen. Yes. People got all kinds of spirits. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. True. It's hard dealing with a person with two or three different personalities because you don't know what you can be confronted with next. Yes, yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. So I said, beloved, believe not every spirit, but what? But try the spirits. But try the spirits. Mm -hmm. Amen. There's an S on the end of that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Try the spirits. Read. Whether they are of God. Whether they are of God. Why? Because many false prophets are going out into the world. There are many false prophets, false people. Yes. Mm -hmm. Going out into the world. Mm -hmm. Read. Hereby know ye the spirit of God. Now, this is how you can have the proof of. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. The spirit of God. Now, how is that spirit spelled? A capital S. That is spelled with a capital S. So we're talking about the Holy Spirit of God. Amen. Hereby know ye the spirit of God. Every small letter S spirit, what? That confesses that Jesus that Christ. That confesses, watch this now, that confesses that Jesus Christ, what? Is come in the flesh. Is come in the flesh. Mm -hmm. Is what? Is of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, if they're confessing that Jesus Christ has come, and how do you confess that Christ has come in your flesh? Yes. It's by your obedience, yes, by sir. your love, mm -hmm. by your reverence, and by your respect to God. Yes, true. Amen. Amen. How we doing, church? Pressing on. Amen. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh mm -hmm. is of God. Now mm -hmm. watch the third verse. Read. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ and has come. And every spirit, mm -hmm. small s, mm -hmm. that confesses not, meaning they won't confess Christ in here. Mm -hmm. Meaning in their walk, their talk. Their everyday activity right. doesn't show anything mm -hmm. like Christ. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Don't act like Christ. Don't walk like Christ. Don't talk like Christ. Amen. Everything but Christ. Mm -hmm. You know how you see some kids acting up? You say, that's just like the devil. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> that's just like the devil. Yes. That ain't nothing but the devil. Mm -hmm. And then you see some folks walking like they ought to walk. You say, you know, that's Christ-like. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. But every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is what? It's not of God. It's not of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. It's not of God. We're looking for the proof. We're looking for the source. We're looking for the meaning, the inspiration, and the activity Amen. of mm -hmm. sonship. True. Read. And this is the spirit of Antichrist. And this is, when you see an individual walking not Christ-like, mm -hmm. amen, read. And this is the spirit of Antichrist. And this is the spirit of anti, meaning it is against Christ. That's right. Read. Mm -hmm. Whereof you have heard that it should come. That it should come and what? And even now already is in even the world. Even now already. Mm-hmm. Are we dealing with the spirit of Antichrist? Mm -hmm. Look at America today. It is not the same America that it was founded Amen. back in the years. It believed in God. It trusted in God. In God we trust. That's right. The Constitution and the bylaws of the country was built on believing in God. But look at it today. It has drifted so far to the left mm -hmm. that they don't even want to mention God anymore. True. Amen. 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 It is anti-Christ mm -hmm. anti. today. Mm -hmm. Amen. It is not supportive of Christ, but it is anti-Christ today. America has become an anti-nation against God. Because they don't believe in the principles in which it was established upon. Amen. How we doing, church? Personal. Mm -hmm. 